Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm going to look back in on the African night crawlers that I've been feeding leaves to. But you can tell how much they've eaten because I filled it full of leaves. It's my little my little breeder bin here. Get that out of the way. So let's have a look and see what all they've done here. Seems a little dry, but right off the button, something I don't normally see is an African nightcrawler cocoon. That is rare. At least for me it's rare. So to me that kind of means that they are happy with their um, leaf substrate. Not real huge worms so far. Yeah, it's really, those leaves dried out. So I am just going to root around here a little bit. Got a worm ball in the avocado. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get... Oh, check it out. Another tree on the way. Looking a little deeper still kind of dry. I tell you, with these bins, it's feast or famine with the water. Sometimes it's just, per you know, almost too wet, and then other times it's like this. But in the winter time, I notice that it does get drier just because the furnace is on continuously. It has not been that overly cold here, so I didn't think it would be that much drier than I wanted it to be. Oh, oh stupid tea bags. Let me bring it back when I've got my water. Alright, got my trusty dusty one liter pressure sprayer I got at the dollar store. And gonna wet it down kind of move it around, put it down again. I don't want to get all the water in one place. I want to make sure that I'm not leaving dry areas and also making sure that I don't flood it. I'm making quick work of these leaves. Even with it being kind of dry in there, they're still making really quick work of it. If you go back, I'll put the link up in the top for the, the last video when I put all these leaves in here. But they were very recognizable leaves. They weren't, you know, pre-composted to the point you couldn't tell they weren't leaves. I'm just going to let the camera roll while I'm doing this. I know a lot of people are like, you know, how much water do you put in? Well, it's not really a volume like I, I know I'm putting in a half a liter or two cups or or whatever. It's 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 more by feel. So as I'm going through it and I'm feeling the bedding, I'm paying attention to what it feels like. See there, that's that's starting to get to the the level of moisture that I want in here. And I'm making sure I'm incorporating the water in as I'm doing the spraying. Because otherwise leaves kind of will almost repel water and then it'll all just seep through the bottom. Speaking from experience, you know, I've had that happen to me before where I thought I was doing a good thing and spraying it and then it all leaked right out the bottom and I still had dry leaves on the top.
making sure that leaves absorb it and it doesn't go down to the bottom and turn the bottom of my urban worm bag into a mud pit. I actually went to the trouble of trying to dry it out once and after that I was like no more. If it, if it ends up all mucky like that again I am just going to put it in a bucket full of water, swirl it around, run it through a sieve, put the stuff that didn't dissolve back in the bucket, use the rest to water the plants with. Um, I am going to feed them more leaves. It's a cat bucket of leaves again. These have been out and frozen and you can tell they are super dry. I'm going to go refill my water and get them wet. Okay, watering the leaves part two. I don't get pests. I let these freeze first. Grind them up with my uh, leaf. I don't know what it's called. It's like just it wasn't even that expensive. It was like thirty bucks. It's a weed whacker inside of like a cone. Just pour the leaves in the top, dry leaves, mind you, not wet leaves. And uh, the weed whacker bits just grind them into this kind of consistency. And then I store them in five gallon barrels, dry, until my my little wormies want them. This might be my most boring video. Well, so, thanks for uh, hanging out with me and my worms today. If uh, you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Uh, Give me a muddy thumbs up if you liked the video or at least thought the information was useful. And uh, hit the little bell notification if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good night.